What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac After Birth. Hope you're all having a good day. We are continuing with our Eden streak. Win streak of 30. Thank you guys so much for checking out the... Oh, no! One heart soy milk. What is this present? What the hell is this present? Curse of the Tower? What the hell are you doing to me, game? Ah! I mean... That ups your damage, I think, a little bit. Do we pop this? We got coal! I don't know what it all means. Well, we got lump of coal, which is actually good. What a weird start, dude. Well, I always rant and rave how much I love soy milk. I guess it's time to put it to the damn test, but one heart hurts, dude. One heart start hurts. We did get the blind tears, which I think can confuse them. It's almost like iron bar. If I remember correctly, it's a slight damage up, even though it didn't change our damage stat, oddly enough. But it also confuses them, I'm pretty sure. But enemies that are tanky, like, kind of like this room, is going to be, I think, a bit of an issue, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe not. I mean, the lump of coal, dude, is... is I'm, I'm guessing the present is a new item from the booster pack. I think it's a shop item, if I remember correctly. But yeah, I guess you might have a chance to either get Lump of Coal or... I mean, they, they made a bad noise, but... Oh, that soul heart is so good. It made a bad noise, but Lump of Coal is by no means bad. Um, maybe you have a chance to get, like, an HP up or something otherwise. Or maybe it's just you have a chance to get a random item or coal. You know, it's kind of like a 50-50 thing. I don't really know. I think it's one of the new items. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure it's a booster pack item. Uh, but it worked out in our favor, for sure. Lump of coal is, is huge. And I always say, man, lump of coal soy milk is a synergy to not mess with, for real. Wild soy milk start here. Wild soy milk start. This is an XL, so we should find the other item room. Which, you know, you could make the argument, Jay, you shouldn't have taken Glaucoma. You should have kept re-rolling that, that, you know, that item room to try to get something better. But I figured we're going to have a rough start here with, that, with soy milk and one freaking red heart. That any sort of damage up or even, like, any sort of, like, tier effect, like, to you know, the confusion tier effect is going to help us out immensely, you know, in the beginning stages here. So that's why I took Glaucoma. That was the logic behind it. Um, don't run into me, dude. You could probably kill me. And, I mean, that soul heart drop was huge, and this tinted rock giving us one soul heart right there is, is astronomical as well. We know where the boss fight is. Again, I'm just out here to find the other item room. I, like, don't love standing in front of that, that close, but we made it work. <clears throat> I, well, we can pick it up. It's a D6. See, I'm glad we picked it up then. Because, like, I'm totally not about D4-ing or D100-ing this run. We, I mean, it seems like they just keep giving us the opportunity to reroll our whole run uh, recently. And I, I'm not a huge fan. Like, I like it every once in a while. I, I sound like a broken record, but they keep giving me this uh, context to talk about. I don't want to keep talking about why I don't love rerolling the runs all the time. Um, I mean, compost is great. Well, good. I mean, good. Maybe slightly above average. But having this be a D6 has opened up some possibilities. We could actually reroll these boss these boss um, items if we don't love them. Uh, but this D6 will turn into something else. Unfortunately. I wish it would stay a D6, but that is not how the D-Infinity works. There's Glaucoma taking, taking its toll on my man right here. My man Larry Jr. Rip our damage. We get piercing, though, we be golden. We get piercing, we be fine. Um, that is an amazing pickup. Definitely not going to reroll synth oil. Just a speed up and a damage up. Two of my favorite stats. Again, I think synth oil... Or, I'm sorry, growth hormones. Synth oil is different. I think synth oil is damage range, if I'm not mistaken. But growth hormones is my favorite syringe because it is damage speed. Probably my two favorite stats. Uh, shot speed? Can it go up anymore? I don't know if it can go up anymore. Oh, we got piercing shot. Oh, we got piercing shot, baby. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna... And we got flight as well. 
Um, yeah. I don't know if shot speed does anything. I don't, I'm, I'm torn. Do we re-roll it? Let's just try for science. I think it did. It went up 0.16, so maybe. Um, so we do have the moon card here. We'll pop the moon card considering we just got a full card and I'll just take the full card on our way. Um, but flight is great. 1.5 speed after growth hormones is great. Um, our damage is kind of stagnant because it's, you know, um, soy milk. But uh, yeah, we still have the D6 ready to go. So we can re-roll an item room we're not, we're not too crazy about. But we've... Uh, I'm not saying this is a one run by any stretch. I, I still think we're at odds, considering we only have four soul hearts. Uh, but damn, we turned that we turned that around early with no help from the game. No, I'm kidding. We had it. We actually had a a, de a better start than I thought. The only sore spot of the start. Oh, another syringe is so good. Um, the only sore spot of the start was the the health. Like, I like soy milk, and I'll stand by soy milk to the day I die. I, f I feel like it's a good item. I know I looked at it in the face the other day, the other episode, and didn't take it. And I, it, it made some people sad because it's true, man. If you're going to stand by soy milk, you can stand by it. Pick it up. Pick it up when you see it. I, I don't. That's rare that I didn't, but I, I just felt like it wasn't, it wasn't the run to pick up soy milk, even though it was so early. And that's usually the best time for soy milk. Okay, I thought this bat was dead. That could have been bad. We do have spectral tears as well. Um, whoa, 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 whoa! I said we got piercing. That's not piercing. I don't know why I said that was piercing. It's it's spectral tears, but it's also flight. So uh, spirit of the night is a great pickup for us, even though it isn't piercing. But it is spectral, so we can float over rocks and kind of do our damage that way. We do have a get out of jail free card. Th these can't be bad trips, so. All right, um, yeah, let's go check out the boss. I was gonna say, stay under that guy long enough, he'll shoot a brimstone at you. It's usually a forgotten move of the dark one. Because a lot of people, I think, play him to the side. I wonder if you play him up. Does he shoot up? I don't know. Um, I don't, does this not do anything for us? No, oh, it gave us range and more shot speed. I don't... Oh, God. Abaddon. Um, okay. <laughs> Abaddon again? I mean, we're not going to re-roll any of this. We will take Missing Page and then Abaddon, which will give us more Black Hearts. Uh, Abaddon for the second run in the in a row. I, I, don't, I don't even know what to say about that. It's rare you ever see Abaddon, and we just saw it twice in a row. Again, I don't think this is completely locked up this run. You're never really completely safe with soy milk. Unless you get some high luck stat with, like, any luck-based tier thing going on, then you're pretty safe. But as of right now, I still think we're... Um, we got to play smart. We got to dodge right. We got to float over rocks when we can. And we got to keep our distance because we have lump of coal, you know? So keeping our distance is important. This is a great shop, though. Luck ups are huge. It's going to give us to 1.9 luck, which is awesome. Um... I mean, Red Candle and Mom's Purse are both okay. Champion's Belt. That's what That's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I need. All right. That's actually really good. Um, I would like to buy that Soul Heart, but I'm not going to blow up anything. Well, Secret Room? Maybe here. Nope. That's all right. No big deal. Um, we got Champion's Belt. We got Champion's Belt, which up our damage. And upping your damage with Soy Milk is insane because of how many tiers you output. Your DPS, even if your damage goes up just the slightest bit, kind of like Champion's Belt, the damage went up, you know, not a ton. Like, it was like 0.4. It is a ton for Soy Milk because you have to realize how many tiers you're shooting. So each of those tiers went up 0.4 damage, which makes your DPS go up quite significantly, actually. Uh, what am I holding on to this get out of jail free card for? Well, I don't know. I mean, if we want to fight Mega Satan, we can. If we just want to, if we find a room where it's like item room shop parallel to each other and maybe a chance at a secret room, you use it there. You save two keys, you save a bomb, stuff like that. But 
We'll just sun card because I might as well hang on to this. Uh, temperance. Just blow that up. Bomb turned into three cents. Not amazing, but not terrible. I think I re-roll this. And not thrilled. Not thrilled about it, but I guess we'll take friendly ball because I don't really love the D8. I think we're doing just fine without the D8's uh, help or, or, you know, opposite of help. Help. Almost said health. Uh, okay. Well, we know exactly where we're going. We have four keys, seven cents. We only take a half hour going to the, to the curse room, so might as well do that. Pretty fly. Amnesia, which isn't that big of a deal considering we know where we're going now because we had mapping. We have a very strong soy milk run going on, and I'm loving every second of it that we pulled ourselves out of that that start, that rough start. Woo! Keep our distance. Uh, humbling bundle, y yeah. Uh, I would like it. I just, I don't know if I want to bomb the donation machine for it. Okay, money. Money. Here comes the money. Money talks. Here comes the money. Money, 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 money. Shout out to Shane O'Mac for putting on an amazing, amazing fight. Hey, thanks for the follow on Twitch. For putting on an amazing fight at WrestleMania with AJ Styles, man. He held his own, dude. He held his own. I was That was the surprise of the night for me. I know the Hardy Boys was, was the highlight of the night for me. But, holy hell. Holy hell, dude. Um, well, we could try to swindle a deal with the devil, right? Okay, don't start taking damage. I'm not in the best position still. Whoa. Thought he was way far further to the right. A tears up. I don't think that does anything. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Okay, well, no deal with the devil to swindle. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> uh... Oh, wait, what? I'm so confused. All right, we're good. Uh, let's see here. So what did we what did we get? What did we get from the item room? Do we know? It's Curse of the Lost. I freaking hate Curse of the Lost, man. I'm so sleep. I really don't know if we got the item room. You know, this is just the quota, dude. Once an episode, you go, Jay goes, oh, did I get the item room? I don't know. Power pill. So I guess we drop the strength card for the get out of jail free card, I guess, before we leave, right? Or nah? Do we roll with the strength card? Okay, we did. It was duh. It was it was Pokeball. Well, it wasn't Pokeball, but we re-rolled it into Pokeball, and now this is where we stand. Uh, so let's just go. Let's just get out of this freaking godforsaken curse of the lost bullshit floor. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm tripping. Oh, I'm tripping. Oh, I'm tripping. Where have I gone? What have I done wrong? What did I do to deserve this hell? Hell on earth. Hell on earth. Hell. Help. Mom. Mom, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the basement. Please. Dad! We're good. Uh, okay. Let's just go. I mean, Pokeball is just... Blah, blah, blah. It's just whatever. You know, unless you get one of those Brimstone guys that never seem to die. Uh-oh. You think you have a decent soy milk run, then you get to the catacombs and you're like, holy shit, these guys never die. Here we go. Keep our distance. We got a lump of coal. Keep our distance. Infested. Okay. This is where flight is amazing. Makes that room easy peasy. 
We do have butt penny. Butt penny trinket means GG. This is a carry. I missed him. I missed him with the Pokeball. It's so awkward. The knockback of soy milk makes these guys a little bit difficult to handle. Not so bad, though. Not so bad. Uh, we'll just take Blue Baby's only friend. I don't know if we're going to be using him. If I mean, he's fine to just hang around. He's not bothering anybody. Except my mortal enemies. I, I caught his ball. I caught his ball, dude. I'm very curious to see what's going to happen when I unleash his ball. Pay to win. Pay to win is really good. Pay to win basically gives you a reroll re machine on every, on every item room, which is awesome. Let's unleash him. Unleash the ball. Go ball! I was too busy looking at the ball. The ball's already dead. Ball's already dead. I mean, this is this is kind of what I was talking about. It's we're we're not in the best position right now. Like we really need like some health, some better tier alterations. I mean, this is depths one. Ten rocks, nothing. He's a blue baby's only friend here. Um, he is pretty damn good. Okay, luck up. All right. Uh, yeah, let's just go fight the boss. I mean, maybe just lace blue baby's only friend over him. No, oh, this is bad. This is bad. That's actually a really good pickup. No thanks. But dude, I have Belial is great. It gives us penetrative tears and they turn, I think, double damage on the other side of an enemy. Um, this is where we got to explore. We have six bombs. We could take advantage of Tinted Rocks. This, just make sure there's no Tinted Rocks in there. I remember fighting Gree. There's a lot of rocks. Um, we could always bomb those skulls. Holy hell, that looks insane. Why does that look so insane? Oh, Pokeball, get out of here. Dude, what? <laughs> I have Belial tears have like that crazy red diamond square thing going on. Bomb for a bomb and a key. I'll do that all day. Does this blow up skulls if it's on this? No. Okay. Now you know. The more you know. That does though. Looking for black hearts. No, nothing. Wrecked. Sun is actually good. Sun is actually better right now for us than... Oh my god. Sun is actually better for us right now than the freaking... Get out of jail free card. Because it's not really doing anything for us. I mean, I'll take Harlequin, baby. You know, if we just have to fight a room for it, it's it seems worth it. Plus, he's got little tears like me. Just doesn't shoot him as fast. This is a really cool tier build, though. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I really don't know if they added the, those star, star diamond-esque red things around. Um, let's see if they put a pay to win or a, a re-roll in here. No, just curious. Um, yeah, I don't know if they added those in like the latest update with the booster pack stuff. It would be a kind of a strange addition, but like, sure. Welcomed. Okay. Not so great. We do have 39 cents though. And then super secret room, maybe up here? Come on. Oh, you son of a bitch. I mean, soy milk is, is great to shoot out fires and poops and stuff just because you hit it so many times. All right. Down to the next floor, the health is, is suffering. It's, it's, everything's catching up with us. So we're in the dank depths too. 
Sun. Wait a minute. Use the sun card. I think these are. This is like the crucial floor. Like if we want to prepare ourselves for the womb, we need to get all the tinted rocks, all the health, all the good stuff out of this floor that we can. We got to remember that we have pay to pay to win. So we can reroll this uh this item room if we don't like it, and we don't like it. <gasps> Spawn. Oh baby. Oh baby. Let's go. Spawn is such a great pickup for us. Um, we will also check the library. Book of Revelations is uh, going to be taken over. Actually, you know what? Satanic Bible is going to be taken over both of those. And we're one book away from having Bookworm as well. Which book Bookworm with soy milk is probably badass. Um, we have a ridiculous run right now. Spun just helped out a ton. And holy hell, this, this floor has done it, dude. This floor has completely done it. I think we just solidified our win, if I'm being real. The sun card got us to the, the places we needed to be right away. We would eventually probably ran into everything. But it's all just working out for us. We're running into tinted rocks now. Uh, the Eye of the Belial soy milk spun Abaddon th thing we got going is, is insane. I don't think pay to win makes... No, it doesn't. I was gonna say makes uh, item rooms appear on the womb. It doesn't though. That was a that was a champion, I believe. I mean, I'll donate as much as possible here. All right, that's all they're gonna let us do. Um, we, I mean, we have the money for it. We might as well, right? Justice, justice, justice. Uh, okay. Well, we could go fight mom now right there's no real reason for us to hang around i mean we're gonna kind of get through the whole map anyway going down to fight mom moms are key that's kind of interesting spray the whole freaking room blindly okay might as well use the satanic bible while we can Pretty Fly is a great defensive pickup. We have six bombs. We can get more bombs if we want with bombs are key. Amnesia, Power Pill, Infested. Bombs are key. Um, we're not going to have any more item rooms, so let's just take Liberty Cap, I guess. There's no real reason to have pay to win when there's no more item rooms. Okay. I mean, I could play that, but I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna mess with it because I know me, and I'll play that dark bu or the uh, demon beggar until he pays out. And even if that takes me into a very precarious situation, um, I'll do it. And I don't even want to be tempted. Don't even want to be tempted. Wild ass tears going on. And there goes mom. There she goes. Uh, we have the void, which is very interesting. Um, yeah, I don't see why not. I don't see why not. So what we're going to do is pick this up, use it, because it had a use on it. Pick this up use it or yeah use it and then uh we'll have satanic bible link to our void as well as the option to void things which is really good all right well we're on the womb i said we need to get more prepared for the womb on the uh depths too and we did just that and more honestly we've uh over prepared we came down very strong got spun Oh, God, that was close. Dude, Soy Milk Book of Eye of Belial is like one of the cooler synergies I think I've ever seen. Because it has that homing effect as well on it. So this is why sucking Satanic Bible is very important for instances like this. Basically, we could use it. Use it. Maybe not use it because it's only half a heart, so we could wait. But we have a charge ready to void, you know, to either get another black heart or to void an item 
that is a passive that we can't really use, say like a steam sale or something, if that shows up, we can um, void it for a random passive stat upgrade. Whoa. One of the more fun runs I think I've ever had, for real. Like, it's, it, I, I hope it's coming across as, as cool as I think it is. Look at that, though. Blue Baby's only friend as well. Woo! Uh, yeah. We'll take speed up, size down. Sure. Bombs are key. You know what? No, we're just gonna... Wait, another pretty fly? Oh God, we can get all three. We have all three pretty flies as well. That's amazing. Usually you have like another orbital, like a random orbital that stops you from getting all three pretty flies, but we got all three of them circling us, defending us. It's a really, really awesome run. Going for win number 31, holy hell. I mean, I, honestly, I didn't think we would be building this Eden streak to what it is. Like, we had a strong start. We were at, like, almost 10 win streak. And I was like, oh, you know what? Like, we could maybe beat our record. But, like, you just never know with Eden starts. Like, for instance, this one had a one heart start. And granted, we had some things handed to us, like the present lump of coal. We had some things handed to us that helped us dig out of that hole, right? But, like, there's Eden starts, man, that we've had that even have never even taken off and we pulled out. Um, very excited about it. Very excited about the streak that we have. Looking to turn it into 30 freaking 1. Forty-eight hour energy. Well, we're going to use it right away so we can try to hopefully get another charge ready, but I don't know if we're going to. We probably shouldn't have used it. Oh, God. Battery? No. The tower. We probably want... We probably want bombs or key. I don't know. You never know. You never know when it's going to become uh, useful. Sacrifice the key for no good reason. Another luck up is good, though. Okay. Fuzzy Cap coming in the clutch, telling us where the uh, boss fight is. And we'll have a charge for the boss fight, which is good. Oh. Those uh, Eye of Belial tears were actually looping back around and trying to hit Mom's heart and weren't getting to the uh, other eye that I needed to kill. Good pretty fly. Bow, bow. You know what? Oh, okay. I was going to say put Blue Baby's only friend in the middle there and then we could pay attention to dodging, but... Okay, no deal with the devil, no nothing. We're just going to go up to the cathedral and... Uh... Well, I haven't really had a chance to use the void on anything, if I'm not mistaken, unless I'm a complete idiot, which, you know, don't put it past me. Couple Lokis here. Unfortunately, this is a dead end, so it's going to, you know, warrant in us just going back out the door we came in. No progression made, but who knows? Maybe we'll get a, a good drop, but we didn't. Okay, now we see a little bit of the map here. Um, it's still hard to tell. Like, I, I would still say this way, even though it looks like it's straight down. We could work our way down, but I don't think it was straight down there. It seems like it would be a little too short if it was straight down. Plus, this seemed like the pathway with a lot of uh, things that we could access, and usually that's the way to the boss. All right, where are you at, ghost? Get him. Get him. Pestilence, hello. Nice to see you. Up here in the cathedral. Interesting room. This is where the Eye of Belial comes into play.
I mean, the Eye of Belial is great for room clearing, right? But, like, for enemies like this, like Isaac or something, it's really just our base tiers that's hitting them. All the Eye of Belial stuff is going out the other side, you know, and not really affecting. Um, it's actually really bad for him if he spawns a minion in front of himself, which, you know, he doesn't know this, you know, so don't tell him. But, like, yeah, it's really bad for him because basically all it does is he's setting up a turret for me to multiply my tier damage right in front of him. And, uh, yeah, we can hit him with the Eye of Belial tiers, which does a lot more damage. But this is going to be no problem. This Isaac fight is done and over with, basically. Just got to go through the motions of the last couple waves. And then we're going to get to the chest. We do have 20 keys, so we have more than enough to access the first four. I don't think we have Guppy's Tail. We, I think that was last run. Uh, but yeah, I don't think we're gonna be seeing as many chests as we saw on the last episode. We basically saw two chests drop like every other room when we were fighting the chest. Uh, Mom's contact is insanely amazing with soy milk. One of the, my favorite synergies uh, with soy milk. One of the reasons I love soy milk. Um, okay, I mean, yeah, we'll just suck in, suck in these. Oh, we turn back time. Gotcha. Gotcha! Okay, so I don't know how exactly to go about sucking that in. I think if we get another item here, like a chest or something, and we get a pedestal that we could drop a spacebar item on, we could drop the turn back time spacebar item there, and then uh, access, or sorry, suck the other items in. Which, you know, Nod Leaf is the only passive item there. But it would still be a random sad upgrade for Nod Leaf. I mean, I don't mind sucking in paws, but. I mean, you saw the beauty of Mom's contact right there. We could suck that in. Saw that coming from a mile away. Just dodged it way too late. Mm -hmm. I mean. You may be saying, Jay, you're losing some health. Yeah, that's true, but I also have Satanic Bible tied. Damn, we're running into some tough rooms. I do have Satanic Bible tied to my void. So when I void things, which I'm about to void things, uh, we're going to get Satanic Bible plays as well on top of that. Lump of Coal Damage Multiplier from Eye of Belial is going to tear them apart from this distance. All right. Yeah? I mean, we're going to lose permanent port in its ability, but it's all right. Damn, bam, bam. It's takeable. Plus, we're not going to get a ton of plays on our uh, on our void here. As I say that, I eat my words. Got a luck up and a shot speed up, we'll leave. Let's take this battery just in case so we don't have to backtrack for it. Pure laziness. I mean, it's it's smart to not take the battery until you need it. Because now we won't be building charges on the void. But, like I said, pure laziness. Pure laziness. We look so beautiful with the bow on our head. Yeah, there's another battery there anyway. I mean, bombs are keys, like, completely useless. At least Chariot can do something. And we could use Void here and, like, get another Black Heart. I just don't know if it's necessary. I'd rather be ready for another passive item to drop so we can suck it in if we so desire. Damn, that's a lot of peeps, dog. That's a lot of peeps. That's going to be a lot of eyes. Oh, wow. Tore them apart, though. You gain that distance. You gain that... Lump of coal multiplier as well as the Eye of Belial. You just wreck them. Oh, Mom's Contact, you beautiful thing, you. That's actually a half a soul heart. Hello. Hello. Oh, my lord. I almost bombed. I tried to bomb out of it. Can't bomb out. This is just such a rough dead end. Holy hell. No, I thought he was going to die before he did it. All right. 
Well, we just suffered a huge dead end, which is, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Mm, this has got to be the way now. Two champion Mega Maws. That's no joke. That is no joke, my friends. Mm. Alright, we got a big room down here. I'm going to head towards the big room. You know my theory on that. Um, this is a passive, and I don't think it's necessarily bad with soy milk. Um, you know what? Let's first science take it. I'd be curious to see how it kind of works with soy milk, because I never really take Explosivo, because I'm not a huge fan of it, but I'm kind of curious to see what what goes on here. I mean, it's hard to judge on these enemies, because a lot of them are teleporting around. This death, dude. Holy shit, dude. We get it. You spawn sights. Oh, my lord. I think it's only his little pony here. I mean, we'll just void that, considering we already have spawn. It's no use to pick up experimental treatment at this juncture. Uh, and then the random stat upgrades. I didn't even see what happened or what we got, but I'm assuming it was better than experimental treatment. Seriously, two big rooms, dead end still. All right, all right, game. This still, this feels like the way because there's another big room, or it could just be the worst dead end ever. Just do it. Just do it. I would love to suck that in for sure. S U C C. Yeah, I think Explosivo is definitely benefits more from something like soy milk than a normal tier. I'm just not a fan of Explosivo. I've expressed that numerous times, but uh, with soy milk, I think it works. I mean, soy milk, dude, synergizes with like everything. It's just so damn fun. Uh, that's a space bar item, so it's not going to do anything. Let's go back really quick for Bob's brain and suck that in. We got another luck stat. Let's go fight a good old blue baby. Explosivo is going to tear him apart, I believe. Maybe not. Look at him go, though. <laughs> the knockback on the Explosivo. Just tossing him around the room. And that's going to be another W. That was one of the most fun runs I've ever had. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, leave a like for the win streak of 31, boys. Holy hell. Also, check out these two videos listed down below if you haven't seen them already. And make sure you subscribe by hitting the pixel face in the middle for more daily Isaac content. Thank you guys so much for the support on the series. Love each and every one of you. Hope you enjoyed this one. And until next time, stay safe, stay up, peace out.